Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris and in today's episode as always we are going to be continuing on with our VGC Series 8 content. Today playing a take of my own on the common lapdog team which is Lapras and Zacian. So we're going to feature a couple of Zacian teams this week. This is going to be the first one to kick us off with uh, and it's, a, it's an archetype that we probably all know about but it's a very interesting one as well. You've obviously got the Lapras going to be the main kind of G-Max, Dynamax Pokemon on the team that supports everything else with that Aurora Veil support that it brings with its G-Max resonance and then you've got Zacian that doesn't rely so heavily on that G-Max Dynamax ability because it can't and then really really does thrive on that screen support. Uh, we've got the substitute set in here and then we've got some interesting picks alongside it. You commonly see things like Incineroar played with uh, Lapras. We haven't went for that today. We've kind of opted for a Rotom Heat. We've got the Landorus in there. It gives us a bit of stability against some of the problematic electric type, uh, electric type attackers and uh, Amoongus with the redirection really helps us out a bunch. And the odd pick of the team, of course, is that Umbreon. Umbreon is something that a lot of people have been kind of hyping up in this format it's had a lot of murmurings about it and it's something that i do love anyway so it's really nice to kind of incorporate it into this team and see how it performs today as always we'll have a couple of games of the team there is a poker piss down below in the description if you want to check that out and if you stick around till the end of the episode then i will be throwing a rental code up for this team so you can try it out for yourselves on the rank ladder so without further ado friends let's jump into our first match of today <laughs> First up today, we have Marcos playing a team of Mewtwo, Stack Attacker, Indeedee, Cinderace, Grimmsnarl, and Thunderous Incarnate. So this looks spicy, this team. You've got the uh, very fast mode with the Mewtwo. Obviously, it does get Trick Room as well to kind of support that slower end of the team with the Stack Attacker, the Indeedee that you're going to see there, the Redirection Trick Room setup. It can be a bit problematic for us. Uh, Cinderace as, as well, you know, going to be on that kind of faster side of the spectrum. Grimmsnarl with the screen support, kind of matching ours with the lap and then the Thunderous. So Thunderous coming in here, not something that we particularly want to see, but you know, that you're always going to have a bad matchup with whatever team you play or a particular Mon that gives you a little bit of trouble. Um, okay. Zacian is great if we can get rid of the Cinderace. Now I think we definitely go Lapras. Tim one. Definitely got Lapras. I mean, Umbrian's not bad here. The only issue is, like, I, I don't want to lead uh, Landorus be just because I feel, hmm, we're there, we're there, we're there, we're there, we're there, we're there. Umbrian's not bad. I think probably, yeah. The reason I don't want to lead Landorus is because I don't want to proc the Defiant ability if we see it on the Thunderous. Um, bring... Uh, I think I've got to bring Landorus and not Zacian here, which is kind of interesting. Zacian would do an amazing job in this match, but we're not bringing it. So we're going to see how we get on this first one, of course. So we're going to see Mewtwo and Indeedee come out from my opponent as they lead with that, get that Psychic Terrain set up. So the Umbrian, in hindsight, a really good lead here because it gives us uh, quite a decent advantage. Uh, turn one because we can go for that turn one snarl we've got to watch out for potentially thunderous coming in though that's the big problem but um i mean what's probably going to stay on the field like really we resonance into mewtwo and we snarl the problem would be it's not so much of a problem to be honest because even if thunderous comes in right let me proc it they're probably going to target down the lapras um which gives us the, the kind of the, the opening with, with Umbrian to kind of go for that foul play if we want to. Um, if we can get the resonance onto Mewtwo, we'll do some decent damage to it now. Got to be a bit wary, of course, about uh, Mewtwo maxing here, but it doesn't look like it's going to this turn. Um, you just see the follow me come out from the Indeedy, so... Kind of aware. What's Mewtwo going to do? Nasty plot. There we go. Okay. <laughs> love to see it love to see it but with the screen support up uh umbrian helping out with the uh the snarls thankfully we didn't miss the mewtwo because that's the one target here we don't want to be missing um we're not in too bad a spot i guess so let's we'll see we get the resonance off which is always useful i'm surprised we didn't see the thunderous here you know with the inclusion of lapras uh with landorus that we've got obviously alongside the lapras it would make a lot more sense for my opponent to go down that route. Um, 
Let's get the geyser up into Mewtwo and do we just foul play Mewtwo? I think we probably just want to snarl again, to be honest, just to reduce the, the special attack boost down to um, at least um, neutral. Oh, they go on nasty plot again. They're just continually nasty plotting just to make sure that they get to that plus two. So hopefully Umbrian has his goggles on and he can uh, hit this snarl here. Indeedy avoiding again. Every time. What's with that Indeedy? It's got like bright powder or something. Maybe it has. So Mewtwo on plus two, but we're still doing enough, kind of enough chip damage to it along the way uh, to kind of keep it at least a little bit in check. Because uh, if it goes for another nasty plot this next turn, they haven't got the redirection. We've got the rain up now to boost these uh, max geysers, which is always useful. Uh, now, the thing that I would be a little bit worried about here would be the Thunderous coming in, of course. But then we do have the option to just nuke it with... Uh, um, a G Max resonance if it does come onto the field. It's going to be a Grim Snarl. Okay. Grim Snarl. Well, Fake Out's not really an issue for us. Um, they're going to have to put the screens up, I think. Do they go for another nasty plot? Because if they do, we could catch them out with a foul play here, which would probably pick up the knockout if they don't max, which they're not going to. Me too, protecting. Okay. They just want to stall out our turns. What's this Grim Snarl going to go for? Yeah, the light screen. Okay. That's fine. Fine, fine, fine. This is where Zassian would be like the player to come in, wouldn't it? You know? But I just felt like, you know, we needed we needed Landorus. We need the Rotom Heat. I think the Umbrian's gonna be our big kind of star of the show here to help us against this Mewtwo for sure. Um I'm probably gonna see a spirit break from the Grim Snarl this next turn to reduce the attack power on Lapras. I'm kind of tempted to go for a Thunder because if we can get a cheeky uh, paralysis on the Mewtwo, then that helps us out so much. Um, and I think they're going to max here, you know? I really do, I think now. Oh, wow, they're not maxing. Huh. They're just not wanting to. I think they're going to just sit on it and preserve it. Whew. Still does a lot of damage, doesn't it? I'll get the Snarl, put it down to minus one. Uh, Thunder, we need it to paralyze the Mewtwo. That would be, that would be massively useful for us. Spirit Break onto Umbrian wouldn't be ideal either. Um, a Mewtwo revealing as a Citrus Berry, which is interesting. It's a, it's, a, it's an interesting... Uh, ooh, foul play. Okay. Well, that's not going to do too much. Now, the Extending Force is going to be able to pick up the knockout onto uh, Lapras this next turn, which isn't ideal. We get the Paralysis, though, which is exactly what we want. Um, and I think we protect, and now we foul play the Mewtwo. Because it will outspeed us still, and it will pick up the knockout onto Lapras. So we can try and preserve Lapras. Uh, it just gives us a little bit more flexibility with switching around. Obviously, my opponent's still got the ability to um, to max as well, but um, expanding force. Like, a, a foul player will take it down here, no doubt. Me too is paralyzed, which is kind of fortunate for us, but that's what we were fishing for, you know, and the foul player, Umbrian, just dealing with it so easily you know I'm not really worried about it and the, the, the grim snow we know it's got foul play so it's very unlikely that it's got spirit break so umbrian sitting in a, a phenomenal spot here psychic terrain now disappearing from the field so that grim snow if it's got access to anything like thunder wave it will be able to utilize it cinderace there we go that's what we wanted the lander is for isn't it that is what we wanted the lando for um hmm Let's go Hydro Pump. Hydro Pump. And um, let's bring in Lando here. Get that Intimidate. Because Cinderace is going to be the Pokemon that maxes 100%. Um, we've got two targets on the field right now that are like, you know, easy for them to press the uh, the Max Knuckle button. Um, and get those attack boosts. So we kind of need to preserve Landorus. Uh, to the point where we are utilizing these intimidates in now, in now, in now, until you can potentially stall out these um, max turns from Cinderace. Cinderace is still a very good Pokemon, you know, and the, the fact that it's G Max helps us out a bunch because they're not going to be able to manipulate the weather or change it um, because that G Max move does not give them the sun. Reflect coming out from the Grim Snow. Okay. going to see. Go after the Umbrian. Go on. G-Max Fireball. Not going to take us down. 
Nope. And you're going to take a... It's not life orb, but wow, we get so much damage onto it. Okay. And the rain does stop, which is a little bit unfortunate because now we're going to have to take those full power um, attacks. But I think what we could potentially do is just protect... We protect Lapras and then switch into Rotom. Yeah. Because the thing is, once we get rid of the Cinderace here, you like you look at this now, you say the Cinderace goes down, Grimmsnarl's got no way to deal with uh, Umbrian. And we still got a bunch of Pokemon that we can have at our disposal to kind of help clean this one up as well. So, Airstream coming out into Rotom, I would imagine. No, into Lapras. Well, we do go down, but I kind of expected that, you know. And the crit coming out. Hopefully we don't see a foul play here. Like a foul play is still going to like it's not going to do a massive chunk of damage, but it's still going to chip us down. Although I don't really know what to other to expect from the Grimmsnarl, so that's probably going to be it, isn't it? It's not really got another option to click. And uh, not doing too much to the Rotom, thankfully, uh, as we are able to get our Landorus in and uh, put this Cinderace down at minus two, which is a big thing. And we don't want to see these Max Knuckles come out. That's the big thing for us. Um, mm, 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 mm. so I think we could probably, are we going to see an airstream again, maybe? Because we could, uh, we could earthquake and we could thunderbolt and that kind of covers bases. So if they airstream again, no, they're max knuckling now, which is fine. They're going to go into the rotom, but we're going to land our earthquake, which that and Thunderbolt should be enough to get there. Wow, it does so much damage. Is that a crit? It has to be a crit, yeah. Whew. Dang, man. <laughs> like, that should not be doing as much damage as it's just done. But there we go. Paul Rotom managing to hang on, thankfully. Uh, proc the Citrus Berry, which will allow us to take uh, a foul play. Yeah, uh, we'll get the Earthquake. I don't suppose this will be enough to get the Cinderace, but like I say, the Thunderbolt on top of this will be enough. We know we're not going to go down to a foul play from the Grimmsnarl. Um, yeah, and that will be enough to take down the Cinderace and kind of lock up the game for us from here. Uh, we've lost the Lapras, but at this point, Lapras kind of did the job that it needed to. And I guess in some ways, you know, we're not bringing the, the Zassi in here. It's a good example to say the team can kind of function well without the restricted, um, just with the, the the support that we've got, you know, anyway. So uh, I don't think we need to boost up. We can just double tap into it. Earthquake, Thunderbolt, and uh, there's the cancellation. But very good game to mark us. And um, a nice way for us to kick off today, of course. So we will... Um, Swiftly move on. Hopefully our next one will be able to get the Zassian in. I'm pretty sure we will be able to. And we'll uh, we'll quickly jump into our next opponent of the episode. <laughs> next up today, we have a Terrakian, Mamoswine, Tornadus, Dracovish, Ferrothorn, and ho, ho team. So, very interesting team. Again, looks very cool. We're getting all the cool teams, uh, opposing teams today. What's going on here? we got Tailwind support uh, immediately jumps out at me from the Tornado, supporting things like Dracovish, which would be very, very threatening in a Tailwind environment. Um, you know, the whole or appreciates it as well, as well as the Mamoswine and the, the Terrakian. Kind of trying to dig out, is there a beat-up user in this team, you know? The Risen Brutal Swing is on Tornado, so that could be used in conjunction with the, the Terrakian there to proc the defi in, uh, justified ability so something that we need to keep in mind um there's plenty on my opponent's team to give lapras a hard time as well so we need to kind of be careful around that we do have water absorb though uh, which is probably the preferred kind of nature uh, yeah no ability ability there we go get my head on uh, against like in this format anyway so we'll go lapras i think we'll definitely bring zassian in this one we need to protect uh, a bunch of things uh, I think we'll go Landorus, we'll go Zassian, and we will go... Oh, we've run out of time. I think we'll roll some heat here. It's probably a really good shout, you know. Get rid of the Terrakian. Rotom Heat has a great time in this matchup. So, we'll see how we go. Yeah, my brain doesn't feel like it's working that well today. Um, I had a really busy weekend, uh, just doing stuff. We had stuff to do in the house and around the house, just tidy it up and things like that. So, without actually hacking down a uh, um, 
bush yesterday and I like I don't know if anyone's noticed but I'm bringing attention to it now so you definitely will notice it my eye is like tiny yesterday I thought I blinded myself literally no joke uh, I literally had to go to bed early last night I could eat I couldn't even open my eye like five hours after it happened I got whipped in the eye like right on the eye when I was up a ladder by a huge branch and it was the most painful thing ever but thankfully it's it feels better today but it's still a bit like it feels like I've been punched in the eye not that I have been punched in the eye but you know um anyway let's see uh oh, oh and tornadoes what are we looking at the intimidate's great here of course icy wind we've got to watch out for uh we probably want to get our screens up as soon as possible so we'll go for that resonance into the tornadoes we want to remove uh landers from the field because we don't want to take an icy wind we don't want to take too much damage you want to preserve that intimidate for later on in the game especially because there's so many kind of pivotal big um physical attackers in my opponent's team so preserving that makes a lot of sense uh getting the rotom in here obviously resists everything that my opponent can kind of throw out at us um so it makes a lot of sense to get it onto the field stop pressuring my opponent a little bit with things like nasty plot and things like that if we can get those up we've got to keep in mind though that tornadoes does have taunts so do we want to waste the turn nasty plot and do we want to just try and pressure my opponent a little bit whilst we've got the opportunity to but lapras here because it's just so bulky, you know, I don't feel like we've got any, we're not in any danger of getting knocked out turn one. It's always the security you've got with Lapras. You've always got that security with it. It's why it's such a good kind of Pokemon to fall back on. Why we've seen it do so well in like every single series in, in Sword and Shield so far. And I don't see it kind of changing as we go forward. Maybe if you get too restricted. So there's the Icy Wind. <sighs> Our speed's been reduced. Um, we're going to see an airstream, so they're just concentrating on uh, that speed control. And Rotom taking that pretty well, considering uh, Hot Hot is an absolute monster, you know. The screen support here is going to be pivotal for us going forward, because uh, it just allows us to kind of really concentrate down on that Hot Hot the next few turns. Um, yeah, and I mean, getting rid of that tornado is going to be useful. Is it sashed? Is it sashed? I can't see. There's a sash. Yeah, so. Tornado's sticking around, sticking around. We'll probably want to get rid of that in the next turn because we don't want to allow it to uh, to have the option for like a late game, uh, a late game speed control at least anyway. So we'll go for the Max Geyser and I think just the Thunderbolt into Tornadus. The issue would be for me right now is does that hot or have uh, access to a weakness policy? Because if it does, that would be bad. So Max Flare coming out. That's fine. I'm going to be able to get the rain up, which is always useful. Um, and the thing to start thinking about now is, does Dracovish come in from the back? Because that wouldn't be good. That would not be good for us. Uh, one little bit. Um, but I mean, Lapras isn't really threatened by it at all, you know? Um... Or does Terrakian come in? Terrakian's the other one. Terrakian I kind of prefer to see. I think it's a bit of an easier one to deal with in this situation because then we've got the lander is switching, you know? Uh, we are just seeing leftovers on that hot or so that's fine. Um, we're kind of forcing my opponent to almost go for the max flare the next turn as well. So they're not going to be able to go for further speed control uh, because if they want to get rid of the rain, yeah, seeing that. And we'll probably want to go after... <laughs> hmm. Yeah, what have we got in the back? Oh, Zassian. Hmm. We need to stall out these these tailwind turns. We need to kind of concentrate down onto the the Dracovish. Uh, Max Lightning is useful. Probably just protect the Rotom here, and it means we end up with no uh, rain up. Okay, they're Max guarding. That's fine though. You know, I don't mind. Not having, oh well, we're gonna keep the rain up because they're max garden. Psychic fangs. Mm, go on for the wrong target there, but you know we have to keep in mind that that is an option for my opponent going forward. Get the max lightning into the Dracovish, which is really useful. And now with the um, the the terrain up, we got that extra boost, and we've got. Um, What was I going to say? We've got the extra boost with the terrain for Thunder, which will help. We're not maxed anymore, though. Um, 
but we are likely to to lose our screens this turn with a psychic fang because that's what, what that that's what they're locked into isn't it they're locked into you'd imagine they are scarfed so i feel like it's probably quite safe to switch in landris right now and just go for a thunder into the draco -ish. that should remove it right it should do the intimidate will help a bit Ooh, sub. Sub ho oh, Very nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. Psychic fans coming out to break that screen. That's fine. Yeah. Doing decent ish damage. Aurora Veil does wear off. It's Life Orb as well. Wow. Okay. It's a nice call. There should be enough, though, with the terrain boost to take it down. Yep. And now we just got the ho oh to deal with. It is minus two, so we don't need to worry too much about its kind of damage output right now. We've still got Rotom in the back that can kind of come in and uh, do some work for us what is going on with my fringe i'm trying to sort it out here and it's just like ah uh, no it's not long till uh, the uk's hairdressers and stuff are open back up though so that's always a positive uh terrakian coming in not brilliant for us um but zassian not a bad play to come in here you know it really isn't because we can probably uh, uh i think yeah we'll protect protect Bring Zassian in. I just the problem with bringing Zassian now is if we take a Sacred Fire, we yeah we've got the rain up. Obviously that'll help us out a bunch, but at the same time we don't really want to get burned. Um, the Hot Oil probably will outspeed us when because they got the, the 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 plus one. Depends how they've been trained though. You know, in my mind they're probably a, a, like a lot bulkier because of the leftovers. The substitute probably got Roos. Nah, they haven't got Roost, have they? What? They've got Calm Mind. <laughs> what? What is this ho -oh? This is a special ho -oh. Jeez. What are we seeing, friends? Um, but we got a nice check for the, the Terrakian now, you know? Uh, so we can we can go the Behemoth Blade into Terrakian. And then we can go for a... Let's just go for a Thunder into ho -oh. It's the more reliable attack right now. Um, and let's hope that Zassian doesn't get burned. We could go for a substitute here as well. Of course, that's definitely an option. But I think just trying to get the Terraki in here uh, will be useful as long as it's not sashed. Sashed will make things a lot more difficult for us, of course. Oh, it's scarfed. No, the Tailwind's still up. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? We needed to protect there. Switch in Landorus. Yeah. Flamethrower, plus one. In the rain. Can we take it? We should do. Yeah, we ju just about. Just about. <sighs> okay. Pay attention to your opposing Tailwind trick room turns, people. That's a good example. But Zassian trained pretty well, so we get away with it. We'll get the Thunder into the... Um, the whole oh, there's no way that crit mattered no way no way uh, and this will break the sub but ah uh, it gets a bit more tricky to deal with this with calm mind you know we're kind of relying a little bit more on something like uh, landorus um which definitely gets trickier for sure uh the rain does stop now so that whole oh, uh, it's gonna have uh, it's just gonna keep subbing isn't it we need to hit it with a hydro pump i think it's probably better going for Thunder because the terrain's up so we can continue to get that boost. It's just if we miss it. Uh, let's get the... Oh, the Landorus really isn't going to help us at all here because it's special. So the Intimidate drops onto it aren't really going to be doing anything. Has to sub here. I'll go after Zassian maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Jeez, that's nuts. Da that is nuts damage. That is actually nuts, you know? And we miss. We miss. We pay the price. We can't afford to... Um, we cannot afford to nasty plot up either, I don't think. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat this hot or, you know? I feel... Uh, is the terrain just disappeared from us? I think it has. Yeah, okay. Let's just click that hydro pump button. 
Hydro pump, Lapras, get your goggles on. Get your goggles on. We're gonna have to thunderbolt hydro pump. I don't. The, this won't be enough to take it down, especially when it's calm minded in front of us. We're, can, we're gonna need Landorus. I don't know if we're gonna be able to beat this, you know, because Landorus is not gonna be able to outspeed this hotel. We need a cheeky paralysis. That's what we need. Still does decent damage, but I think Lapras hits. Job Lapras. Okay. Uh, if it's got, so it's got Calm Mind, it's got Flamethrower, it's got um, Air Slash, potentially. I think a Flamethrower will take down a oh, oh, here, you, uh, Rotom here, you know. I really do. But then again, if... Mm, oh, they're subbing. Okay, they're relying on us missing with Hydro Pump. Does this break the sub? Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does. It just enough. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. I, okay. We're gonna be all right. No! Come on! Come on, Lapras! The one time. That's two moves now. We don't need this. We don't need this. This is always the issue with Lapras when you aren't uh, maxed. The moves that you're kind of relying on when it is maxed are great, but when you're when you're not, it's just it's terrible. We'll lose Rotom here. Oh, we survived. We survived. 8 HP. There we go. And we've got it. We've got it. Rotom. Rotom definitely being the MVP of today. By a, a, by a long shot. It is putting more work than anything else in these two games today. So, credit to Rotom. Not a Pokemon to sleep on. Very good game to my opponent. And we pick up two wins. So we'll jump over now, friends, and uh, we'll get you the rental code for today's team. Here we go, friends. Here is the rental code for today's team. I hope if you do try it out, you have a lot of fun with it. We've had some really good matches in today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed them, got something out of them. I think, like I said, the Rotom being the MVP of today's episode. How crazy was that special hot or in the last game? We didn't really get to see too much of Umbreon, but in that first game, obviously did a lot of work against the Mewtwo and Didi kind of lead that would have been otherwise super threatening. And we got to see the team kind of function without the Zacian, which it's not always over reliant on but when you do need to call on it it does do some work obviously Sean it's bulk there and that last match taking the double up from the Hoto and the Terrakian just with a missed time tailwind uh you know from myself so that is the team hope you enjoy it hope you've enjoyed today's episode hope you all keep well stay safe and I'll see you all for another episode very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye-bye